guys. Hey guys. Hello, 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 Ginny. How's your hips doing? Hey, Juliana. So now, good to see you. I was just thinking about you this morning. Hi. Okay. Um, if you can let me know that you can hear me loud and clear. How? Hi, pretty. Hello, Kasiam. Is that your name? So you can hear me, right? Loud and clear, and you can see me clearly. So no lag or whatever. Hi, Elsa. All right, guys. Um, my name is Yen, and this is core class. For normally for core class, so normally people take it easy. Yep. Yeah. Genie, take it easy. So normally people think that core is just doing sit-ups, you know, but it's, I mean, it's not, it's not wrong, wrong, but uh, actually core is here, the front part of the body, the glutes, even the shoulders, even your legs sometimes, and the low back as well. That's why normally we try to work on different, different things. Okay, so I need you to have a block and a yoga strap. If you don't have a strap, so I'm using my mat strap here. If you really don't have anything, you just grab a small towel. Okay, small towel will do. And a ball. Okay, if you have injuries, like lower back injuries or something like that, just take it easy. And feel free to rest if you need to, okay? Don't push yourself too much. Okay, sit on the block. Cross leg up position. I'm going to turn off the comments soon. Go to your cross leg up position. Hello, Yiling Jie. All right. And. Okay, turning off commenting. Good. So you can see me clearly. Cross leg up. Sit up tall. If you have tight hips, the knees are up there, it's fine. Just make sure that you keep the spine straight like this. If you can soften the knees down, soften the knees down. If not, it's fine. Your hands resting on the knees. Shrug the shoulders down away from the ears. And you want to feel like actually you are arching the back slightly. So if you look at me from the side, you are not doing this. You want to pop the chest up. The tailbone is moving back. So try your best. Pull the belly in. Okay, soften for the inhale. And exhale, squeeze belly. Push down to your, uh, to your sitting bones, so squeeze your glutes and push down to your sit bones. Okay, inhale, shoulders down, fill up the chest with the breath. Exhale, belly squeeze, hips, push down to your sit bones. Inhale, soften the shoulders, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, squeeze the middle part of the body, push down to your sit bones. Two more breaths like this. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. Last one. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. Now keep exhaling, keep exhaling, exhaling, exhaling until there's no air in your body anymore. I want you to press the belly button towards the low back. So hold the breath there and lift the pelvis up towards your ribcage. Hold the breath for three. Squeeze your belly, two, and soften. Inhale again. Exhale completely. Keep exhaling. Squeeze the belly in. Keep exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. Then you hold the breath. Now try to squeeze the side of the lower belly here to lift the pelvis up towards your rib catch. Soften the belly, inhale. Exhale, keep exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. At the end of the exhalation, hold the breath. Pelvis lift, knit the ribs towards your hips, hips towards your ribs. Push down to your sit bones, squeeze your bums. Inhale, soften. And exhale completely. 
Very good. Place the right hand to your low back. Twist towards the right side. So, the, so your left palm goes towards the right thigh. A gentle twist to start. And once you're here, you're going to lean your left shoulder towards your left leg. So like a side stretch with the twist. Feel good from the low back? Nice. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, palm come back to the center. Now twist towards your left side. Left palm goes to the low back. Right hand goes to the front of the left thigh. Okay, twist first, turning your chest towards your left side. Then you're going to lower the right shoulder down towards the right knee. So twist, then a side stretch, lengthening the left side of the belly. Squeeze the belly in. Very good. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, arm twist. Move the block away and let's come to your tabletop. We're going to do very simple stuff to start, yeah? So back to your tabletop. Palms below the shoulders with the index fingers pointing straight forward like this. Do not move the fingers to touch. So fingers spread, index fingers pressing down the knees below the hips, toes tuck under. Very simple. Three rounds of cat cow. Inhale, soften the belly. Arch, chest forward without bending the elbows. And exhale, curl the tailbone under, push and bring your middle back higher, chin to the chest, shoulder blades away. Inhale, rib catch open, belly drops, chest forward. Stick the bumps a little bit higher without bending the elbows. Exhale, round the spine and squeeze. One more. Inhale, stick the bumps up. Chest forward, shrug the shoulders down away from the ears. Exhale, round the back. Good. This time, left leg up and back. So left leg up as you arch. Point your left toes. Okay, you're going to stay here for a while. Push down to your right knee and keep the right toes tucked under. So your left leg is behind you. Can you point your left toes and squeeze the left kneecap? Now squeeze the lower belly in. So when you squeeze the belly, you feel like rounding the back. So squeeze the belly. Make your lower back flat. Yes. Make your lower back flat. Then from here, look down in between your index. Can you push down to your palms and bring the shoulder blades away from each other? Keep your rib catch moving towards each other. Can you squeeze the right obliques here? So the right side of the belly squeeze. Squeeze the right butt. Then you lift the left leg a little bit higher. Go ahead, squeeze the left butt. Nice. Exhale, knee to nose or your chin. Round the back. Inhale, left leg up and back. So first you want to arch your back. Yeah? So arch your back first is fine. Keep your arms straight. Then from here. Ribs away from the floor now, like you are rounding the back. So squeeze your ribs in, squeeze the right back, look down in between the index, do not bend the elbows. From here, kick the left leg a little bit higher and squeeze the left back. Hold that belly in, squeeze the belly button. Exhale, knee to chin, round the back. Inhale, left leg up, same, arch your back. Then from here, keep the left leg there. Squeeze the lower belly in, close the ribs. You want to float your rib catch away from the floor. Look down. Shoulder blades apart, turn the eye of the elbows forward. Squeeze the right butt, squeeze your left butt, lift the left leg a little bit higher. Very good. Exhale, knee to nose, round the back. And back to the tabletop, three rounds of cat cow again. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Last one, cat cow. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. And inhale, arch. The right leg up and back. Okay, first you arch first. Then from here, you slowly round your back with the right leg behind you. Squeeze your ribs in. Imagine someone punching you in the belly. You want to keep the belly nice and tight. And you look down in between the index. Keep pushing. Squeeze your left butt. Squeeze the right butt to lift the right leg a little bit higher. And exhale, knee to your chin or your nose. Inhale, right leg up and back. First you arch. Then you round. Squeeze the belly. Extend the right leg. Squeeze your bums, both of them. Push and shoulder blades away from each other. Stay here. Stay here. And exhale, knee to your chin. Round the back. Last one. Inhale, right leg up and back. Arch. Round, squeeze and close your rib catch, float the rib catch away from the floor. Look down. 
Shoulder blades apart, turn the eye of the elbows forward. Squeeze the right butt, lift the right leg a little bit higher. Hold, three, two, and you release right knee on the floor. Push back to your downward facing dog. That felt different, yeah? Because normally when you do this, you just swing your leg without engaging. Okay, push back to the downward facing dog. So I give you 10 seconds or 15 seconds. You do whatever you feel like doing. Normally, I like to twist my hips side to side. Oh, I bend one knee after another to move my legs and my hips. All right, just do whatever you feel like doing. Five more seconds to go. And then you come back to your downward facing dog. Join your legs together. Keep your eyes looking at your big toes. Make sure that your inner heels are touching. Okay, lift the heels up. Can you straighten the legs? Tuck your chin to your chest. Can you find your belly button? Yes, look at your belly button. Round the back, push down to your hands. Inhale, lean forward to your plank pose. You might want to wiggle your feet back like, like me here. Shoulders stack above the wrist. Turn the eye of the elbows forward. Squeeze your legs. Exhale, downward facing dog with the heels up. Then you want to tuck your chin to your chest. Find your belly button. Inhale, plank. Shoulder blades apart. Exhale, dog pose. Chin to chest. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dog pose. Chin to chest. Just two more rounds. Inhale, plank. Squeeze your bums. Exhale, dog pose. Chin to chest. Last one. Inhale, plank. Squeeze your bums. Lean the shoulders slightly forward. Okay, chaturanga, bend the elbows, squeeze your elbows towards your side ribs. Put the knees on the floor, glide the chest forward, curl ruffles. Press down to your index and the thumbs, downward facing dog push back. Legs together, heels up. Tuck your chin to the chest again. Now, look at your belly button. Can you lift the right leg up without moving your hips? So lift the right leg up, squeeze the right knee cap, chin to chest, hold it. Squeeze the belly. Exhale, right knee to your chin, then you lean forward, round the back. Step the right foot forward in between the palms. Keep your fingertips on the floor. You want to squeeze the left butt, okay? Your belly does not touch your thigh anymore once you come on your fingertips. So sit low, belly not touching your thighs, don't cheat, yeah? Extend the right arm forward. And turn your belly towards the right side. You come to your extended twist position. This is our inhale. Exhale, right hand down to touch the floor outside your right foot. Remember, belly not resting on the right thigh. Left fingertips on the floor. Too much for you. Block underneath your left hand. Okay, squeeze the belly. Round the back slightly. And inhale, reach the right arm forward and turn your belly towards the right side. Can you squeeze the right belly? Exhale, right fingertips down to touch the floor. We do this four more rounds. Inhale, reach the arms forward, turn your chest. Exhale, three. Inhale, forward, turn the chest. Exhale, four. Inhale, forward, turn the chest. Exhale, five. Last one. Inhale, right arm forward, turn your chest and squeeze the belly. Take your right outer hip back. Stay for five. Sit lower. Four, three, two. Exhale, right hand on the floor. Move the block away if you use a block. Left foot forward, complete the forward fold. Stand up on the inhale, bring your arms up. Stretch. Exhale, palms to your heart center. Keep the belly nice and tight. Inhale, both arms up. Forward fold for the exhale. So hinging from the hips, bend the knees, place the palms below the shoulders. Step back to your plank pose. Stay in the plank pose first. Push back to the downward facing dog. Feet together, heels up, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your belly button. Left leg up and back. Do not open the hips, so I want you to squeeze your both legs, tighten your both kneecaps. Keep looking towards the belly button. Exhale, left knee come and touch your chin. And keep the left knee touching the chin. You lean forward, lean forward, lean forward. Step the left foot forward in between the palms. Okay, if you need a block, put the block underneath the right hand now. So your both hands on your fingertips, your belly 
don't touch your thigh. Okay? Turn your belly towards the left, reach your left arm forward. Inhale, exhale down, touch the floor. Keep the belly nice and tight, yeah? Don't relax the belly and collapse. Inhale, turn, reach your left arm forward. Exhale, touch. Inhale, turn, twist. Exhale, three. Inhale, turn and twist. Exhale, four. Inhale, turn and twist. Exhale, five. Last one. Inhale, turn and twist. So turn your belly towards your left. Squeeze the side belly. Sit lower. Take your left outer hip back. Hold it. Three, two, and release. Put the block away. Right foot forward. Complete the forward fold. Stand up on the inhale. Bring your arms up. Exhale, palms to your heart center. Inhale, both arms up. Forward fold for the exhale. Bend the knees. Step back to your plank pose. Stay in the plank pose. Squeeze your bums. Lean forward, chaturanga, and hold. Put the knees on the floor. Glide the chest forward. Cobra pose, point toes, squeeze butt. Downward facing exhale. Good job, guys. We stay here. Breathe for five. Neutral down dog position. Four. Straighten your arms. Three. Two. And one. Look at your toes, big toes touching, heels up, right leg up without opening the hips. So I don't want to see this, I want you to take your right outer hip down. Point your right toes, straighten the both legs. Now you're going to stay here and push down to your palms even more. Think of squeezing your elbows towards each other. Then you squeeze the right butt, see if you can lift the right leg a little bit higher. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it forward in between the palms. Very good, your high lunge position, both arms up. Lace your fingers behind your head. Shrug the shoulders now. Now I don't want you to, I don't want you to be very comfortable resting your head in your hands, okay? I want you to float the hands away from your head. So my hands, my palms are not touching my hair nor my, my head. Sit lower, pull the belly in. So this is a back bend position. Squeeze the lower belly in, pull the left outer hip forward to lengthen the spine without arching too much. Alright, this is our inhale, so floating the palms behind your head. Exhale, without using your hands, you turn your chest towards the right side. And notice that when you turn, this left outer hip is coming forward as well. So squeeze the left butt, take your left outer hip forward. Inhale back to the center, don't touch your head. Exhale, twist towards the right side. Just turn the belly and the chest at the same time. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, three, twist. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, four, twist. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, five, twist. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, six, and twist. So you want to stay here, sit a little bit lower, keep turning your chest towards the right side. If you're wondering, why is it so easy? Not yet, yeah? So twist the body towards the right, take your left outer heel forward, pelvis are square. Hold it, don't press the palms onto your head. Three, two, one, untwist the body. Put your hands on the floor in front of the right foot. So the hands on the floor in front of the right foot, not in line with the right foot. Walk forward, left leg up. Okay, you want to keep the left leg extremely straight. Micro-bending the right knee is fine. Now exhale, you're going to flop the left foot forward in between your hands. So like this. See my left foot is floating. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, flop the left foot forward. Inhale, left leg up. Oh my god, my right glutes. Exhale, flop forward. Don't cheat, try it. Inhale, up. Exhale, three. Inhale up, exhale four. Inhale up, exhale five. Inhale up, exhale six. Can you hold? Float the left foot in between the palms. Pull the belly in. Round the back five, four, three, two. Feet together forward, forward. 
What a relief. Inhale, stand up. Arms up. Exhale, palms to heart. Inhale, arms up. Forward, forward, exhale. Now place the palms in front of the toes. Step back, plank pose. Shoulders stack above the wrist. Squeeze your legs. Lean forward, chaturanga and hold. Knees down, glide the chest forward, cobra. Squeeze butt. Downward facing exhale. Legs together. Heels up. Left leg up. Now you want to stay here. Straighten the both legs. And keep the pelvis square. Then push down to your palms. Squeeze the belly more. Can you lift the left leg a little bit higher without opening the hips? Exhale, knee to nose. Step it forward in between the palms. So come to your high lunge position. Left leg forward, right leg back. Try not to come into a back bend like this. Squeeze the belly. Pull the right hip forward. Lace your fingers behind your head but do not touch your head. So the palms are floating behind your head. Shrug the shoulders down. Really squeeze the front of the belly. Inhale here. Exhale, turn the chest towards the left. Now you notice that the right of the hip will move forward naturally, yeah? So keep it there already. Inhale, untwist back to the center. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, three. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, four. Once you twist, squeeze the side belly. The side of the belly. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, five. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, six, and you hold. Squeeze belly, shoulders down, palms not touching your head. Don't spin the right heel down towards the right side. Hold and squeeze the legs for five, four. Sit lower, three, two. Back to the center first. And place the hands in front of the left foot. So again, remember, not in line. This is in line. Forward. Float the right leg up. Microband the left knee is fine. Now you have to push down to your fingers. Your hands, they have to be on the fingers and round your back. On the exhale, float the right foot in between your wrists. Just like this. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, two. Float forward. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, three. Inhale up, exhale four. Inhale up, exhale five. Inhale up, exhale six and hold. Hold there, push, round the back, five, four, three, two. Feet together, forward, four. Stand up on the inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms to your heart. Inhale, arms up. Forward fold, exhale. Lengthen, inhale. Plank pose, step back. Stay in the plank pose. Bring your feet hip distance apart. Spin your heels down towards the right side. Now check your right hand. The eye of the right elbow turn forward to face the index. Now go ahead, squeeze the right arm bit, left, left arm up to the ceiling. The left foot in front of the right arm, yeah? push. Now exhale, left arm goes underneath the right arm bit. Inhale, left arm up, no rush. Exhale, reach back and down two. Inhale, up, stabilize the shoulders. Exhale, three. Inhale, up. Exhale, four, squeeze your belly. Inhale up, exhale five, squeeze your bums. Inhale up, exhale six. Inhale up, exhale seven. Inhale up, exhale eight. Inhale up, exhale nine. Inhale up, exhale ten. Stay here, look down, squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Release knees on the floor. Sit back to your child pose. I know. 
I know, the right arm is burning, eh? so sit back to the child pose. You walk your hands forward, lengthen the arms. You may rest your forehead on the floor. Then look forward first, glide the chest forward, cobra pose, chest up. Downward facing, exhale. Very good, lean forward to your plank pose. The shoulders stack above the wrist. Feet hip distance apart, spin your heels down towards the left side. Now side plank, right arm up towards the ceiling. You have to squeeze your outer hips, pull the belly in, right arm up. Exhale, right arm goes under the left armpit. Inhale up, open up. Squeeze your legs, exhale two. Inhale up, exhale three. Inhale up, turn the eye of the left elbow forward, exhale four. Inhale up, exhale five. Inhale up, exhale six. Inhale up, stabilizing the shoulders, exhale seven. Inhale up, no rush, exhale eight. Inhale up, exhale nine. Inhale up, turn and hold. Look down, focus, squeeze the legs. Belly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Release, child pose, knees down, sit. Woo. Child pose, you can wipe your sweat if you want to. And look forward now. Stretch the arms forward, palms are flat on the floor. Cobra pose, glide the chest forward, squeeze your bums, downward facing exhale. Good job guys, good job. Now lower the knees down, come into a sit and just look at me. So for the next one, you can see me very clear, right? You're going to come to your low butt pose. If you look at me from the side, my lower back is always flat. Okay? First option, arms forward. Second option, arms are back. Squeeze your bums. Press down to your low back. If the low back start to do this, you have to bend the knees. Okay? You have to bend the knees here or there. Then, we're going to hold here for 10 counts. After 10 counts, you're going to roll towards the right side, a quarter turn. Alright, so it's not like you really roll towards the right side, just a little bit. Roll onto the right of the butt, okay? Here, squeeze the bums, straighten your legs, try to stay balanced here. Then we come back to the center, a quarter turn towards your left. Here, point toes. Then back to the center. Okay, can we do this? Lay down on your mat now. And then after this, we're gonna use the strap right after this, yeah? So this, this is just a warm up. Okay, now find your low butt pose. Arms forward, arms reaching back, knees bent on up, and just try to see how you feel. Ready? Low butt, arms forward or arms over the ears. Hold it, point the toes. One, squeeze butt, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Quarter turn towards the right side. So see my left butt cheek not touching the floor. Round the back, squeeze the legs. One, two, three, four. Left obliques. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to the center. Point the toes. A quarter turn towards the left side. Right butt cheek not touching the floor, point the toes, chest higher, one, squeeze the right obliques, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, back to the center, low butt pose, lower back flat, legs are forward, arms forward, squeeze your legs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release up your knees to your belly. Roll left, right, left, right for a few times. Okay? 
Okay, let's do a simple test here. You roll back to the center, head and shoulder off, and grab your outer feet with the hands. If you can reach, meaning that next one, you'll be able to do it. If you can grab your outer feet from here, then you can do it. Okay, now sit up and watch me. So now next one, we are going to grab your yoga strap or your small little towel, shoulder width apart. Okay? You are going to lay down on your back. Legs up, head and shoulder up, bend the knees, bring the strap over your legs lower down. So it's kind of like helping you to lift the upper body up. Bend the knees, release, arms over the ears. Bend the knees, over, extend, bend the knees, over, arms back. Okay? Tread over and release, consider one round. Ready? Now grab your strap now. You are going to lay down on your back. And if you have lower back issues, try not to lower the legs down too much. Yeah? In case the lower back start to float off, you have to press down to the sacrum and the lower back flat onto the floor. Grab the strap now, lay down on your back. Bend the knees. Okay, head and shoulder off. Bring the strap over the foot, uh, over your feet. Extend the legs forward. Lift the upper back higher, squeeze your legs, squeeze your bumps. Bend the knees again. Release, arms over the ears, extend the legs one. Bend the knees over your feet, extend. Bend the knees over your feet, reach back two. Bend the knees over your feet, extend. Bend the knees, release, over your head, three. Bend the knees. Over, extend, bend the knees, over, reach back, four. Keep doing it, bend the knees, over, bend the knees, bring it back, arms over the ears, five. Bend the knees, over, extend, bend the knees, release, arms over the ears, six. Bend the knees, over, extend. Bend the knees, release, arms over the ears, seven. Three more. Bend the knees over, extend the legs. Bend the knees, release, arms over, eight. Two more. Bend the knees over, extend the legs. Bend the knees, release, arms over. Last one. Bend the knees, over, extend. Bend the knees, release, arms over the ears. Good job. Bend the knees, release. I know the neck is quite sore, right? You want to rock left, right, left, right for a few times. It's okay, I know. I'm a human too. Then you come into sit up position. Sit up nice and tall. Let's rest here, okay? Force the shoulder blades to slide down and you press the right ear to the right shoulder. Back to the center, left ear down to your left shoulder. One more time, shoulders down, right ear, right shoulder. Back to the center, left ear, left shoulder. Back to the center, chin to chest, pop the chest up. And think of looking up towards the ceiling, chin away from the chest, looking up without dropping your head back. Good, back to the center, turn your chin towards the right shoulder. Back to the center, chin to your left shoulder. Nice, come back and the next one. So that was the hardest one. The next one, I think it's slightly easy. So you're gonna bring your feet in front of you, keep the knees 90 degree, and you're going to lean back, keep the strap above your kneecap, okay? I don't want to see the strap become like this. I want to see you pulling the strap apart like you're going to break the strap. Okay, point the toes, press onto the heels belly. So my body is reaching back. My feet are on the ground. My strap above my knees. Inhale, arms up. I try not to move my upper body when I reach my arms back. So don't do this. 
and this. I don't want you to swing the body back and forth. It's useless. Okay, forward, inhale, up. Exhale, down. Don't move your upper body. Okay, now set up. Feet on the floor, bend the knees, lean back, extend the arms. Like pull the strap until the strap looks like very tight. The strap above the kneecaps. And you want to feel like you're modeling. Chest up, shoulders down, squeeze the belly button. Hide your belly rolls, okay? Inhale, don't move your upper body. Reach the arms up until your upper arms beside the ear. Yes, good job. Exhale down. Inhale up. So look forward and up. Don't tuck your chin to the chest to avoid rounding the back. Exhale down two. Easy, right? Inhale up. Exhale three. Inhale up. Exhale four. Don't rock your upper body. Inhale up. Exhale five. Inhale up. Exhale six. Inhale up. Exhale seven. Inhale up. Almost there. Exhale eight. Inhale up. Exhale nine. Inhale up and we hold. Inhale up. Squeeze the belly button, look forward, arms are reaching back. Hold one, two, squeeze belly, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Good job, guys. So now you're gonna grab a block. The block, this is medium height, this is lowest height. Um, it really depends, yeah. Some people have very short neck, so if you know that your neck is kind of short you put the lowest height like for me my neck is quite long hmm? i'm gonna use medium heights but normally normally people can handle medium height okay look at me first i'm gonna grab the strap now how do you hold the strap next one normally we hold the strap like this four fingers up thumbs down okay you're going to turn your index up ah uh, sorry the thumbs up as well so all five fingers above the strap and you want to pull. Imagine this is a wooden stick. You want to break the stick. Okay, so literally your wrists facing each other. So I'm gonna hold the strap like this. Thumbs are up, not down, not below. I'm gonna rest my head on the block. Now see how I squeeze and lift. I bend my knees first. Okay, take a deep breath in. When you exhale, press onto the back of your head. So that your upper back is off here. Yeah, so here, see my upper back is not touching the floor, nor do my lower back, nor do my lower back. Only my sacrum, your little lemon logo, pressing down, yeah? All right, then from here, hang on, look at me again. Upper back off, legs up. Bring your ankles to touch the strap. And keep reaching your arms up, strap touching the ankles. This is our inhale. Exhale, legs down, arms over the ears. Inhale, legs up, touching your ankles. Exhale, down, arms over the ears. Alright? Okay, lay down now. Put your head on the block. Hold the strap like this. All five fingers, sorry, all ten fingers up above the strap. And you think of want to breaking this stick uh, into half. Legs up. Press onto the back of your head, upper back off the floor. So space in between your chin and your chest. Bring the strap towards your ankles. Touch first. So everybody start from here. Straighten the legs. Strap touching the ankles. Inhale here. Exhale, legs down, arms over the ears. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your bums. Don't lower your upper back down. Inhale, legs up. Straight up, touch the ankles. Exhale, legs down, arms back. Inhale up. Continue to do this. Exhale, three. Upper back off the floor. Inhale, up. Exhale, four. Inhale, up. Exhale, five. Inhale, up. Exhale, six. Inhale, up. Exhale, seven. Inhale, up. Exhale, eight. Inhale up, exhale nine. 
Inhale up. Exhale, turn and hold. Upper back not touching. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the bums. Arms back. Hold there. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze belly. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. Bend the knees, walk your feet in. And you want to stay here. Lower your knees down to the right and left for a few times just to release the low back, okay? And when you bring the legs up and down, actually you use a lot on your quads and your hip flexors as well. Okay, back to the center. Now instead of bringing your feet together, you are going to bring the feet hip distance apart. So not as wide as your mat, your feet hip distance apart, your feet no longer touching each other. Hold the strap again, the same holding position like this, thumbs up. Okay, now, press onto the back of your head, upper back off the floor, so that you can bring the strap to touch the ankles. Inhale, exhale, legs down. Don't touch your toes. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Squeeze your outer butt. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Squeeze your outer butt. Inhale, up. Exhale, three. Exactly the same thing. Inhale up. Exhale four. Inhale up. Exhale five. Inhale up. Exhale six. Inhale up. If you don't know what's out the butt, just squeeze your bums, yeah? Exhale seven. Squeeze your butt. Inhale up. Exhale eight. Inhale up. Exhale nine. Inhale up, exhale, turn and hold. Lower the legs down, upper back not touching the floor, arms are reaching back. Hold there. One, two, three. Squeeze your bums. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and release. Put the strap aside, walk your feet in. You're going to hug your thighs to your belly this time. Okay, now sit up and look at me. The next one, you're still going to bring your feet hip distance apart. You know how you rotate your leg bones. So, I'm going to show you one leg. I point my toes. I turn my toes up. So, I am rotating my leg bone, okay? So, this is one leg. This is the other leg. My right side is stronger. So, what you're going to do here is you're going to add on everything now. I'm going to lay down. Look at me first because turning the leg bones kind of confusing. I, I've seen people do, move the toes on me. So inhale, strap touching the ankles. Exhale, legs down. Feet hip distance apart. Turn. One, two, three, four, five. And up. Touch. Exhale down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? And you will see your fats around your legs shaking. Eh? Can we do this? We do it together? Okay, this time your upper back can be rounded. So you're not necessarily doing this already. Unless if you want to. You see how you feel. Okay. Now, legs up. You still have to push onto the back of your head to feel the lifting sensation from your shoulder blades. And the strap go and touch your ankles. Feet hip distance apart, point the toes, exhale down. Arms reach back, squeeze your legs, turn the toes up. One, two, three, four, five, and all the way up, round the back, strap touching the ankles. Exhale down, squeeze your legs, turn. One, two, three, four, five, and all the way up, touching the ankles. Now, if this is too much for you, elbows down is fine, okay? Ready? Exhale down, point the toes, squeeze your bums, turn. One, two, three, four, five, and up, inhale. Exhale down, point the toes, turn. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale up, exhale down, turn. One, two, three, four, five, and all the way up, inhale. Exhale down, turn the toes. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale up, touch the ankles if you want to. Exhale down, two tired elbows on the floor. Turn your toes now. One, two, three, four, 
five. Inhale up. Exhale down. Turn the toes. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale up. Two more to go. Exhale down. Squeeze your bums. Turn the toes. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale up. Last one. Exhale down. Turn the toes. One, two, three, four, five. And release. Hug the knees to your belly. Woo. Okay, you can put the block away. You may sit up and look at me. So now, I'm going to put my right elbow on the floor. Right elbow below my right shoulder because it is not like this. Right elbow down, your legs are together. And only the right butt is on the floor. Okay? Then you're going to lean slightly back to bring your both legs up. And you're done. Okay? So lay, uh, turn towards the right side. Put the right elbow below the right shoulder and you can spread the fingers. It's like you're going to a beach at South of France for picnic. Chest up, pull the belly in, ribs in. Point the toes. Get as graceful as you can. Slowly bring the legs up. So roll onto the right of the butt already. Legs up. Exhale down, don't touch the floor. Inhale up. Exhale down, don't touch the floor. Inhale up, chest up, don't do this. Exhale three, chest always up, ribs in. Inhale up. Exhale four. Inhale up. Exhale five. Inhale up. Exhale six, four more. Inhale up. Exhale seven. Inhale up. Exhale eight. Inhale up. Exhale nine. Inhale up. Ten and release. Let's do the left side. So now you can decide which beach you want to go, yeah? You want to go to Changu, can left elbow on the floor, turn the left palm slightly forward. So it's easier for you to stabilize the shoulders instead of here and you sink down. Left elbow push, legs together, point the toes, very graceful, chest up, squeeze the belly in like a ballerina. Really squeeze the legs, now bring the legs up so you kind of like slowly roll towards the right side and bring your legs up but the right butt cheek never touch the floor. Exhale down one, inhale legs up, exhale down two. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, three. Inhale, up. Exhale, four. Inhale, up. Chest up. Exhale, five. Inhale, up. Exhale, six. Inhale, up. Seven. Three more. Inhale, up. Eight. Inhale, up. Nine. Good job. Inhale up. Ten and release. Okay. Let's come to your forearm plank. Elbows on the floor. Interlace the fingers. And you're going to step your feet back. I know you're tired already. Okay. Lower the hips down. Squeeze your legs. Squeeze the bums. Then you're going to move the entire body back and forth. One, two, three, four. Five, bounce lower, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep doing it, shoulder blades apart, push down to your elbows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, drop the knees on the floor, place the palms down, step the right foot forward to your pigeon pose. Alright? So pigeon pose, you bring the elbows on the floor. Take your right outer hip back, keep the left toes tucked behind you. You are going to walk your elbows towards your left side and you're going to lengthen the right side of the body. 
Keep taking the right outer hip back. Feel like the right armpit is stretching away from the waistline. Hold that. Good. Now if you fancy to do something different, you keep the back toes tight. You lift the left knee off the floor and squeeze the left butt. Squeeze the left butt and see if you can walk back a little bit more. So squeeze the left butt, stabilizing your hips. Hold there. Keep taking the right outer hip back. Breathe for five, four, three, two, and release. Change side, right foot back, left foot forward to your pigeon pose. And you keep the right toes tucked under. Your elbows are below the shoulders. Easy peasy, okay? Actively take your left outer hip back, but I don't want you to sit on your left hip. Walk your elbows all the way towards the right side. And from here, you want to think of bringing the left hip back and the right armpit away from the left hip. You stay here or you bring the right knee off the floor, squeeze the right butt. See if you can walk back a little bit more once you squeeze the right butt. And breathe. Five. Four. Three, squeeze your butt, two, and one. Release, back to the center. You're going to step the left foot back on your belly now. So lay down on your belly. Your toes open towards the side or the edge of the mat. Don't bring the legs off the floor, yeah? And you're going to bring the palms beside the side ribs. Point your toes, squeeze your bums. Roll the shoulders down. Now, keep looking forward. Inhale. Chest comes a little bit higher. Can you lift the palms off the floor? Squeeze your outer butt. Exhale, palms down. Sink down. Inhale, chest up, followed by the palms. Exhale, down. Inhale, up, palms off. Squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Exhale, down. Inhale up, exhale down, two more, inhale up, exhale down, last one, squeeze back, point toes, inhale up, and you want to stay here, can you look over your left shoulder, squeeze your butt, straighten your legs, look over the right shoulder, back to the center, palms on the floor, walk your palms forward and look over the right shoulder, so hold to your opposite elbows, yeah? Then look over your left shoulder. And you want to place your forehead resting on your forearms. Keep your legs very strong. Now keep your upper body on your mat. You just lift the legs off the floor without bending the knees, okay? So squeeze your bums, yeah? Rest the forehead on the floor. Legs up. Exhale down. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, two. Don't bend the knees. Inhale up, squeeze your bums. Exhale, three. Inhale up. Exhale, four. Inhale up. Exhale, five. Inhale up, you hold. Bring the legs as high as, high as you can. Squeeze your bums. Straighten the legs and point the toes. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Higher. Nine, ten. Release. Good job. Roll over. Lay down on your back now. Hug your right thigh to your belly. Cross the right ankle above the left. Your right hand touching the right inner knee. Now head and shoulder up, round your back. Use the right hand to push the right knee away from you. Flex the right toes. Okay, then from here, keep the upper back, sorry, keep the back of the head off the floor. Your left palm goes back and just rest the left palm behind your head just to support. Now right hand, constantly push this right knee away from you. Push down to your left heel. Bring your left toes off the mat. Now inhale, just lift the hips as high as you can. So for me, my maximum is here. 
exhale down. Inhale, hips up, keep pushing the right knee away from you. So this is my maximum. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale three. Inhale up, keep the right toes flat. Exhale four. Inhale up. Exhale five. Last one, we hold. Inhale up. Push the right knee away from you. Squeeze the left butt. Push the hips a little bit higher. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Squeeze, eight, nine, and release. Keep the right leg there, twist towards the left side. Sometimes when you twist, you can crack yourself. Yep. All right, stay, stay in the twist, hold for another three breath. And come back to the center. Release the right leg. You're going, you are going to cross the left ankle above the left thigh. Head and shoulder off. Your left palm, go and push the left inner knee away. Right hand goes to the back of your head. Okay, make sure that the right heel is pushing down and you keep the right toes flat so the right toes are off the floor. Now, inhale, hips up. So this is my maximum. I want to make sure that I'm squeezing my right glutes and I keep pushing my left knee away from me. Exhale down. Good job, guys. Inhale, hips up. Exhale two. Inhale, hips up. Exhale three. Inhale up. Exhale four, two more. Inhale up. Exhale five. Inhale up and you hold. Squeeze the right butt. Push the hips up. Push down to your right heel. One, two. Flex the toes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. Lower your legs down towards the right side. Supine twist. All right, hold it. Soften the low back. And come back to the center. Hug your thighs to your belly. Roll left, right, left, right for a few times. And roll forward, come to your sit-up position. So if you want to do some stretch to finish the practice, you may do a pigeon pose. You may do a low lunge with the back heel press against the butt. Okay? So do some um, stretching postures or active stretches to finish the practice. I only have two minutes here, so I'm going to end this um, class really soon. Okay, let me know if you have anything. And I hope today is not too tough for you because the tough one only did one round. Okay, and remember, do the stretches, um, pigeon pose. And then do your shoulder stretch if you want, your leg stretch if you want. But today we didn't do a lot of shoulders, so it should be fine. Okay, thank you, Ginny, for staying. Okay, you guys have a good um, weekend. I'm going to see you on Monday. So Monday, I have a 9 o'clock class, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> I know, we all want to go for holiday. All right, thank you guys so much. I have 30 seconds. Please take good care of yourself and a lot of sleep and then a lot of workouts if you, if you can. If you don't want to do anything, just sleep. It's fine, yeah? All right, take care, everybody. Bye, see you.